Next we will move to payment screen. First we will start with the payments. These are the payment transactions which are already saved. That means already created. Click on new payment to record a new payment. Select the party name. Set the payment date. Mode of payment by bank or by cash. Select the account. Next the total value. Reference number. And there is no transactions under this party. That's why there is no invoices. So when I select MKJ private limited, it is showing there are two invoices. So the amount 10,000, I will assign to two invoices. Payment amount, I'm assigning 5,000 to this invoice and 5,000 to another invoice. So this is how you can assign the total amount to multiple invoices in a single screen. And you can also do the partial payment here. Next, we'll move to receipts. Select new receipt, select the party. Select the payment date, mode of payment, deposited to which account, 10,000 rupees. For two invoices, invoice 1, 5,000 rupees and invoice 2, 5,000 rupees. This is how you can assign either the partial payment or recording the payment for multiple invoices and save it. These are payments and receipts. User can also record the advance payments in advance receipts. Click on advance payment, click on new advance payment. Select the party name. Once the party name is selected, it will pull all the details of the party. Next, select the mode of payment by bank or by cash. Deposited to which account? Total advance amount that is 10,000 rupees. And reference transaction number. Select the item 10 quantity. The total value is 3 lakhs. 10,000 is advance amount. And save the transaction. And it is item so the tax will not be calculated on this so 10,000 advance was received for that item so this is how user can record the advance payments in the same way user can also record the advance receipts as well click on new advance receipt select the customer select the mode of payment and deposit it to which account the transaction reference number select the item advance amount 10,000 rupees and save it User can also record the advance receipt or the advance payments even for orders. Once the orders are, are created, whether it may be a sales order or purchase order, just select orders and if any orders are created again as this invoice, in place of order number, you can have a list of drop down with the orders. Then select the order, then all the items will be displayed here. Select the item and enter the advance payment and save the transaction user can also make advance payment for the existing orders just select the party select orders order number once the order number is selected it will pull the items in that order select the advance amount and save the transaction enter the mode of payment and the deposited to account and the reference number then save the transaction this is how user can record the payments and receipts and advance payments and advance receipts as well Thank you.